Welcome to Excel Tips and tip number 52. Uh, today we're going to have a quick look at a macro. Um, so if you're only watching the video and not getting the email, you might want to get out your pen and paper uh, to write down the macro. Essentially what we're going to be looking at is how to remove page breaks. So when you go, say, a page break preview, obviously I've got no data so it hasn't any there. If I go back to normal, you have this nice dotted line here which is um, can get frustrating for some people. Um, and been asked how to remove it. Simply put, um, and you know, you might have this across a whole range of sheets. So simply put, the easiest way for us right now is uh, a macro. So I've got one here already written out. So we're going to call it sub turn off page breaks. Uh, the dim is W as the worksheets. Uh, okay, so basically for each worksheet in the worksheets, um, you're going to activate the worksheet. Uh, on the active sheet, you're going to uh, display automatic page breaks. You're going to turn that off by saying equals false. Active window dot view, um, put it back to the normal view, and then go to the next worksheet. And once you've finished all of that, it's going to end the sub. Um, so if I jump back to Excel um, and run that, voila, no more uh, dotted lines down the page. And uh, as simple as that to get rid of um, those black lines if uh, if they do annoy you when you're using Excel.